Hey guys, Flubberly here today, and welcome to this speed build. Uh, now this house is another, this is another family home, or designed to be, uh, but it's quite a bit larger than the last one. Um, the first couple of hours, so this part, and I don't know, I don't know which part of the video it goes up to, it goes a fair while, about halfway into the video, uh, is, was all live streamed actually, with a bunch of you there, so you may have already seen this part, but much slower, and... A lot more boring, probably. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I'm, at the moment I'm just messing around with the house. Um, and I had a lot of problems with this house, actually. Um, firstly, after the, f the second live stream, at that point I had the house com like completely built. I just need to furnish it. And I did furnishing. I just sat there because I, I was going to go to bed, right? Okay, I'm going to tell you the whole story. The whole shebang, as it, as it were. Uh, it was about 5 a.m. in the morning. And I had woken up, okay, so first of all, my sleeping pattern is completely messed. Uh, the day before, I went to bed at 7 a.m. and woke up at 7 p.m. So I had a good 12 hours sleep, but I woke up, I woke up at 7 p.m. So it was night time, blah, 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 blah. I live stream around 2 o'clock th that morning and finish at 3. And I was like, I should probably go to bed, but I had something to eat um, and all of that stuff. And it was also my mum's birthday. On the 8th, which is when this all this all went down. Uh, so I also went out to the shops because there's like 24 hour uh, stores nearby. And I bought a few things. Bought some balloons, blew them up. Had something to eat. And I was going to go to bed and it's like, oh, no, I don't have a video for today. Uh, so I was like, okay, we can finish this house. So I just sat down and worked on the house for a couple of hours. It took like two hours and I'd finished it. It was beautiful. And I was just doing the finishing touches. And my computer decided to crash. It decided it was a perfect time to crash. Um, <laughs> I, I, I don't know what it was. I, well, uh, no, I don't, I don't really know what it was. I was rendering a video at the time and I was also recording the speed build at the time and playing the game as well. So I don't know, maybe it was just too many things. But I, I really don't think it was. I think it might have just been a random Windows error at the time, to be honest. Because the, the CPU I have is uh, Intel i7-3820 and that's actually a very good one. It's overclocked to 4.3 GHz as well. Four cores, uh, eight and then four, four th uh, lo uh, like, what is it called? I don't even know, four threads. I don't know. Anyway, so there's like four virtual CPUs or something and then like four physical. I don't, anyways, blah, 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 blah. It, I don't think it was a CPU and it wasn't overheating either because I have a liquid cooled CPU that always keeps it really cool. Um, I wouldn't have been the video card. I think, I don't know, it was just Windows not having a good day. It just decided to crash and really, really delete everything of my lot. Uh, so I was taken back to when the house had been finished built, like finished building. So it was just an empty house again. And so I kind of gave up on that day. And then I didn't go to bed that day because um, it was around 8 a.m. or so that it messed up. I was like, all right, whatever. And my mum was up, so it was her birthday, so we did things with that, had a good time. Um, and I basically stayed up to about 6pm, and then I fell asleep. <laughs> and then I woke up this morning at 6am. Uh, and then I worked on the house a bit, and finished it off. I finished it off this morning, because um, I, really, I didn't really have time to do it yesterday. Uh, but yeah, that's why, first of all, that's why this video is late. It should have been up like two days ago. But we had all those issues and problems. Um, but they've now been sorted out, so that's good. Um, but, yeah, so that explains all of that. Um, oh, that was so annoying, that crash. I was so upset. And then, <laughs> oh yeah, then when I was doing it today as well. Um, oh, that aqua blue. What am I doing? I, th I think someone in the live chat suggested you should try a, uh, a was it a turquoise or aqua or something? <laughs> try to see what it looks like. Uh, it did not look good. Um, but yeah, anyways, this morning when I was furnishing it, uh, I had just finished again, and I heard, like, uh, under my desk, there's the PowerPoint. Um, it's, like, in the middle underneath my desk, and that's what everything plugs into, basically. And I heard a little click, like, from my my toe, <laughs> and I would halfway switched the um, the PowerPoint off, and I was like, oh, my God. If, if I had pushed that any further, I would have just lost it all again. And I was, <laughs> I was needless to say, very relieved that didn't happen. And then I immediately saved the lot. 
to prevent any future mess ups of that sort. Um, but yeah, you can see the lot coming together right now. Um, and I'm, I'm actually very happy with this slot as well. It's, it's again, a house I wouldn't normally do. Um, but I think it, I, it turned out really nicely as well. I'm really happy with it anyways. I spent a lot of time, um, making some choices as well. I spent the, the start of the second live stream, um, which will probably be coming up soon. I spent a lot of time choosing doors and windows for the house. Like I just couldn't decide what looked good and what suited at all. So I messed around with that with a, for a good like 10 minutes or so, I think. And when I eventually got it, they, they look really good though in the end. Um, so I was happy with it and all that. So that's good. It just took a long time. Um, but yeah, anyway, so that's why this video took longer than usual to get up. Because, oh, I'm spinning around the camera there, weirdly. Uh, normally, well, for the past week and a bit, I've been doing one a day and that's been going really well. Um, and I've been managing it really well and I'm really happy with it. I'm really pleased the way this channel is going as well. It's going really well. I think this might be the second speed build. No, it's second live stream here, maybe. I don't know, because the quality of the second one was lower. Um, because, well, it just was. It, it had to be. But anyways, it's not really that noticeable. Especially because it's sped up. But anyways. Um, yeah, the progress this channel has been making in the last month, within the last month, has been really good. Um, especially the last, like, three or four days. The number of subscribers that has been gained is amazing, and I really thank you guys for that. Um, like, just yesterday, I, I gained the most subs that this channel's ever gained in one day as well, which is really good. And we got 146 in one day, that's the most ever, um, for this channel, and it's fantastic. And, I, like, I'm been, I've been looking at the stats, and January 2012, this channel basically just passed 5,000 subscribers. And just over a year later, or well, a year and a month or so, we're almost at 15,000, so that's almost... Almost, oops, almost tripled where we were, which is really good. I'm really pleased with it, and I really thank you guys for all coming and hanging out here. Um, and welcome to everyone who's new, because apparently we got a couple of, like, well, multiple hundreds of people in the last few days, so really welcome here. Um, you're, ve you're very welcome to, to join the party here. Um, oh, actually, this might be the... this. I think this is nearing the end of the first live stream here, because I think I left the carport... Then I did a bit of it in between live streams. Um, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I, 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 because I wasn't sure what to do with the carport. I was going to do a roof. Then I did a flat roof and it looked too flat. Look, it looks too high up. So then I messed around with this. Yeah, this is in between live streams. I think I did this. Um, it's really not the most efficient way to make the, <laughs> make, make the little hill. Um, but yeah, I do it like this in the end. That's a better way to do it. And I kind of just make it slope down quite nicely. It turns out really well. Um, so this turns out to be a four bedroom, three bathroom house, I think. And one of the bedrooms has bunk beds in it as well. So it's like a child's bedroom, or two children's bedroom rather. Uh, and it also has a really cool rumpus room in the basement. And there's a, there's a whole bunch of space in the basement as well. Like I flattened out a whole large area down there that you can easily expand the basement if you want. So there's heaps of space down there um, in case you want to add extra rooms or anything like that. Um, and it should be easy to use the basement tool as well. I never use the basement tool because I, I'm just not a fan of how it makes everything completely black around it. I just don't like that. I think it should just cut away the ground or something. I think that would look a lot nicer if it did that. Um, but yeah, so that, that's what I, I, I left a lot of space in the actual basement to do that. And you can easily add a proper basement on as well, which is all good. And yeah, that's the carport there. I kind of like the little sloping floor tile effect there. And I just paint it with asphalt. Asphalt. It's a weird word, asphalt. Uh, but yeah, anyways, also, this is the longest speed build ever on this channel, I think. I don't know if that's something to be proud of or something to be ashamed of. <laughs> it either means I'm getting slower or, I guess, more detailed, maybe. I don't know. I, I did, no, I will say I did, I did spend a lot of time on this house just sort of messing around, especially because I had to do it twice, to do the furnishing twice. So in total, it would have been around six hours to do this, um, it should have been four if my game didn't crash. But um, so yeah, it was a, it's definitely a reasonable amount of time I spent doing this place, and I think it turned out really nicely. Um, 
and it's a good change of pace as well. I'm really liking the change of pace I'm making um, for the lots uh, in in all my speed builds now instead of doing modern... Pl I, I love making modern houses. That, that's what I started doing. That's what I love doing as well. And that's why I'm keeping the more modern aspects into my uh, in my let's build a house because um, that's what I like to do. And that's a large modern house I'm making there. But yeah, this is kind of like a family, kind of a large family home, suburban home. Uh, it, it's a contemporary, definitely a contemporary feel to it, um, especially out the back with all the different levels and all that kind of stuff. And the, the use of half walls everywhere. It's definitely a contemporary styling. Um, but it's not, by no means a modern house, this one. It's not like ultra modern styling or anything like that. So that's that's good. Very good. Um, uh, there was something else I wanted to talk about, but I can't remember what it was. I don't know. I really don't. Oh, I guess it was just kind of to talk about... That I, I, yeah, I'm doing a lot more live streams now for this channel as well. So I suggest uh, that you go to the t uh, my Twitch page for this, uh, which is linked, I think, on on the channel, on my channel here. Um, in the sidebar, it says, like, uh, live streams or Twitch or something or whatever. Just go to that, and then you can follow it if you make an account. And every time I live stream, you also get an email. Um, but if you don't, I also always post a video here on YouTube saying I'm live streaming, and I post it on Twitter and Facebook. So I suggest you follow on Twitter slash Facebook. Um as well, in case you want to catch live streams when I do them, because I, I often do them at completely different times. Uh, sometimes I'll do early in the morning for me, which is often good for those in the UK, or I think it's also night time in the US, like evening time in the US, which is good. Or I'll do in the daytime for me, which I think is also good for the US slash UK. So there's probably somewhere in there that I'll catch you and you'll be able to check out the live stream as well. But they've been going really well. Getting a solid, like, 100 viewers um, during the live streams, which I'm really happy with. So thanks for checking those out if you have been. Um, and also that, yeah, because I'm going to EA very shortly, as you probably all know, um, and that's happening for two weeks, the videos on this channel will obviously be pretty much none for the following two weeks. Um, I might post one or two things off from me from EA, maybe. Like, uh, I might do vlogs and that stuff with the other guys that are there, uh, and that kind of stuff. Um, and if I can do videos inside of EA and that kind of thing, I'll probably do videos on my holiday itself, because um, I'm going around with my mum, because she's a wonderful lady and I respect her so much, so I'll do some videos with her. Um, I think I said it before that, yeah, she she definitely does, does deserve a holiday, so I invited her along with me. Um, and all of that, so that's that's really good. And I'm really excited for that now because we've just been finalizing all the details of the trip uh, today. Uh, making sure all the hotels are officially booked and everything. And it's been going really well. So that's... I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. It's coming up really soon as well. But we'll talk a bit more about the house now because I've been rambling on about other unrelated things. Uh, right now, anyways, I'm messing around with the roof right now to get a... I couldn't decide on what made the entrance look nice because before I did that that I have right now... Uh, it looked really blank and it looked really empty. Uh, but just doing that, changing the roof up there a bit really helped out and sort of filled in the front because there was just a lot of space where there was nothing. Uh, and that definitely fixed it. And also allowed me to put windows up here along that front wall, which becomes very handy later on when I put the bedrooms in there. Um, and they have windows because <laughs> bedrooms without windows are awful as people in the live stream let me know, uh, as Whoever was there will remember. And those windows fit in pretty well as, as well. They fit in that nice little gap above the roof and and all that. Uh, and appears we are starting on the interior design now. So that's... I was going to have a double wide staircase, but it turned out it was better not to because it didn't really work having too wide. Um, I'll be playing around with the interior for a bit before we land on the final design. Um, I'll go through a few iterations and changes here and there. I eventually get there in the end. Um, but yeah, so the, the sunken room there is going to be the kitchen dining. Uh, the raised large area that opens out to the back is just the living area, the entertaining area, as you will. And then there's another small room that was down there that you saw. That becomes like a study room, uh, like an office, I suppose. And then the room next to it was a bathroom, and then you have this, the entrance of that. So it's fairly simple downstairs. Uh, the upstairs gave me a bit of trouble because uh, I wanted three bedrooms... Uh, or four bedrooms uh, and an ensuite 
but you can see that one room in the middle of that bedroom there doesn't have any windows at the moment. It's in the center of the house. And the people in the live stream didn't want that. Um, and they were right. They should Their bedroom should have a window anyways. So I, I changed that up in a second. Uh, this is just the family bathroom area right here that I'm making now. That was the only reasonable place I could put it. Um, and actually, now that I think about it, I forgot to put blinds on those windows in the bathroom. But as I haven't actually exported the lot from my game yet, I can go and do that before I do. So hopefully when you download it, I will have remembered. But right now, I didn't put any blinds on it. So it's a bit of a privacy issue in the bathroom at the moment. But not to worry, that'll be fixed. Um, yeah, so that... That little area there with the half wall is the office area, and then the sunken area is dining and kitchen. And that's what I do to solve the bedroom issue, put like that little hallway there. The only problem I had with that is it kind of makes it feel like a hotel room in my eyes, because that's what they're like, right? When you go in a hotel room and you have that small hallway, and usually on your left or right there's a bathroom, and then at the back of the room it opens up to the actual bed area. Um, I don't know, that kind of just gave me a sort of hotel feel. But that was the only way to do it uh, reasonably without changing the design drastically. Uh, we should be coming to the end of the live stream soon. Um, when I, because I just I just kind of ran out of ideas and I didn't want to start furnishing in the live stream, so I didn't bother. Blah 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 blah, and then I gave up, and then I started doing. Um, I think I did, did I do this. I think this is still the live stream. I think don't know. Yeah, this is still the live stream, definitely. Because I pretty much finished all building work in the live stream, and then it was pretty much just furnishing and changes here and there to be done afterwards. Um, most of the decorating, I will say, is fairly... Uh, it's, it's fairly simple. And I think that's good because it's easier to sort of change it to the way you like it. Um, but, it, like... Don't get me wrong, it's not it's not empty, it's just, it's simple, it's not cluttered or anything. There's a lot of space and all that kind of stuff. Um, but me personally, I'm really, I'm really happy with the way that I furnished it. I think it's one of my better ones anyways. Uh, yeah, so I'm doing the stairs to the basement here. This is after the live stream, this part here. This is when I came back and do, this is a, my second time furnishing it. A lot of it is similar to the first time, but I, I think I changed a few bits here and there. I really like the stairs that go to the basement, and they do work, even though you can see they, they kind of clip into the wall. They work perfectly fine. I tested it all. And I do another set of stairs on the other side of the house to the basement later on as well, and they work too. I tested it all. I tested most of the stuff in this house, so it should be all good. Um, and, yeah, so things should be sweet with that. And also, you can see I'm jumping all over the place here. Yeah, I did the basement, and then I'm doing the pool, because I'm redoing what I already did. Like, I knew what I was going to do. So that's why I'm kind of just going around doing the things that I'd already done. And that's why I'm kind of doing it in a weird order as well. Um, so if you see me jumping between things here and there, that is why. Um, and yeah, I always do this. I always paint like the spaces that your sims can't go with completely black floor tiles and completely black walls. I don't know. I think it just makes it, it just defines it as an area that you can't go instead of just leaving it as grass and blank walls. I think it looks better than that. Oh, and those beams that you see I put in there, I thought that was a nice touch. Um, you can see them, uh, like it just overlooks the basement room. So when you go down a level, you can see through that, it looks pretty cool. Uh, and if you do take pictures from the basement, you can see them on the roof and it looks pretty cool, in my opinion anyway, in my personal opinion. That painting I put there to cover up a, a cut in the wall, but it, I, I changed the, um, the wall later, so I didn't actually need that. And I can't remember if I left it there or not. Um... I think the kitchen is more or less identical to the way I did it the first time. Um, and so is the dining area. The dining area is pretty cool, I think. I got Because I, I did um, eight chairs in the dining room. Because um, I think this is probably a big enough house to have eight sims in it. Uh, you could probably expand it if you really wanted. But because it's on... I've got two split levels there. Well, actually, not two. There's a split level there. I was able to put things on top of the table you wouldn't normally be able to do. And you can see there, I put that rug along the table, that that um, hallway runner. And I thought I gave a really cool look to the dining table, actually. Uh, and I also put that plant on the table that you can't normally put on tables, I don't think. At least I didn't test it. But I put that right in the center of the table. And I thought it looked really cool anyways. It gave, it gave it a unique look, something you can't normally do. And I just thought it was generally cool. So I did it. 
Uh, this is the office area that overlooks the dining area, which is pretty cool. I'm happy with it anyway, so it looks nice, nice. Uh, and I go with the same kind of um, nice leather, sort of creamy uh, leather colour on all the chairs in the house, or most of the chairs in the house, I think. Except the computer chair, that's that four-wheeled computer chair that you all told me that you had, even though I've never seen one in my life. Every wheelie chair I've ever seen has had five wheels or more. I've never seen a four-wheeled wheelie chair. I don't know why, I don't know if it's just because I'm uncultured, or they don't exist and you're all just trolling me. <laughs> now, I don't know, I've never seen them before, so... There you go. Um, the living area there, I think I put it in a TV. I put it in like a really small TV. And then I put it in like a flat screen TV up in the hallway upstairs. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's really a good place to put it. But I would do it there anyways. I mean, you can get rid of it if you really want. But um, it seems to work out. Um, yeah. Those two brick kind of pillars there by the entrance. The only reason I put those in there was because I had to have more space for the stairs. So this... The Sims head doesn't clip through the wall of the floors as they go down. And I only, I only put one on the other side to make it symmetrical, so it looked like it was supposed to be there. And not something I just had to do to make it all fit in properly. Um, but yeah, that's the lower floor pretty much coming to a close. Almost, I think. More or less, anyways. And then we'll move up to the bedroom. These bedrooms, i I got to say... I think they were better the first time I... <clears throat> oh, God, that was weird. <laughs> just lost my voice there for a second. They were better the first time I did it, I think. Um, and I think it's only because I forgot to do some things this time. But I, like I said, I can probably add them in um, soon. I think mainly just like posters on the wall. I think I forgot one of the bedrooms. Um, but they're a lot more customized than I would normally do a bedroom. Normally, I kind of leave bedrooms blank and just the same thing every time. And I got a pool table in this house. I did it. Yeah, so this downstairs area here is like a rumpus room, entertainment room. It has a bar, and it has a stereo and a pool table. This is a really cool entertaining space that I've never really done in a house before, because houses either aren't too big, or I just just don't do it, because, I don't know, I don't think it fits. But I thought it was a really cool area to play around with anyways. So I went with it, I rolled with it, as they say in the business. Um... But yeah, anyway, so this is me putting the second set of stairs here. They're kind of annoying to get working, as you can see. I'm kind of fiddling around, trying to get them to fit. And then I always had to change the room around a bit to get it in, because it wasn't lining up properly. But I think the second set of stairs is... I think it's pretty cool. They just look cool, I think, in the position they are. And it could be handy. I don't know if it's actually practically useful, but they're there. So <laughs> your sims can use them if they need to. I just thought it was cool to have the two different staircases going to either side of the house. And you can see there in the basement, there's a lot more space down there to work with. In case you want to add more rooms. You could even add like another bedroom down there. Or something like that. Maybe a wine cellar just for decoration. That could be cool. Um, yeah, I had to move the table. I had to move the table over because it didn't fit really where it was. Because of the stair addition in there. But it was fine. I moved it all. It turned out fine. No problems at all. And did some fancy lights in there. Um, this time we should be done. Yeah, okay, now we're moving into the master bedroom. I did pretty much the same design in all the bedrooms that I had done the first time around because I remembered them. Um, and I think they're, they're pretty good. They're better than my regular bedrooms, in my opinion. Um, so I'm happy with them. I don't know if you'll be, but I was happy with it. Um, but things like bedrooms aren't hard to change anyways if you don't like the design of them. I can't remember what door I had there, so in the end I just kind of put that door there. The only reason I don't like that door for... That balcony area is because it's a bit shorter than the windows, and it's just annoying. I wish it was the same height as the windows, it would look a lot better, but you get what you're given, and you roll with it. Um, I, sh I think I should have left that dresser white instead of making it that sort of brownie wood, but that's okay. Anyways, yeah, that's the master's, master bedroom there, and then in the ensuite to it, I use all the like master suite... Um, bathroom stuff which is really nice if you don't have a uh, master suite stuff or whatever it's called it's actually a really nice pack um a really nice bedroom stuff and really nice uh bathroom stuff as well looks fine i say in my in my my opinion it looks good um <clears throat> yeah so that's all the master pretty much everything in there is master suite stuff so if you don't have it it's, it's going to be replaced by other stuff hopefully it doesn't look too bad on your end it looked nice on my computer but we'll see what it looks like on yours um, 
Yeah, this is the bathroom I forgot to put the, the blinds in because it goes right out onto a balcony. Albeit that balcony doesn't actually have doors onto it. You can't actually get out onto it. You could put a doorway in if you wanted, but I didn't. Um, it still should have blinds because you'd be able to see it from the, the pool area downstairs. But yeah, that's that's the bunk bed I put in. It comes from generations if you don't have it. Uh, I have no idea what they'll get replaced with if you don't have it. I think they have bunk beds in... Oh, they're in another expansion pack as well. I can't remember which one it was. They're in there somewhere. I don't know. I put that... <laughs> and that weird pattern I did on the um, the rug. Feel free to change that. I mean, it, it's really not style points in the rug. It's just kind of like... It's a kid's bedroom. So I thought, make it childlike, I suppose. And these two bedrooms, I kind of went with stereotypical girl and boy kind of stuff. Uh, nothing too specific. Just something to mix up the colors a bit so it wasn't all so bland and boring like I would usually do. Um... And yeah, I just put some outdoor lights just then. Yeah, I just tried to make them a bit different from each other for once. Instead of just having the same items copied and pasted in each room. And it's just boring after a while. So I thought I'd mix it up. Um, and I think that turned out alright. I mean, definitely could use customization if you wanted to, of course. Um, I won't be personally offended if you change it. Uh, so, <laughs> so yeah, that's okay. Um... But yeah, in the end, I'm definitely happy with this house. It's a really nice family home. It's quite large, quite easy to get around and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I think it turned out very, very nicely. It's a quite a large family home. I might make a small house for the next speed build just because this took more time. Of course that goes off. I thought I put that on mute. I really thought I put that on mute, but <laughs> apparently not. Um, but yeah, so next time I'll do a smaller one because it took up, this took a lot of time, especially with the crash. Um, I might be able to do a build while I'm on holiday because I'm taking my laptop and that has all the sims on it, but I've never recorded a video on there, so I don't know how well it would go or any of that. I do have, um, all my editing software on there though as well, so that's not a problem. Um, I just don't know how well it could record and play, but we'll see. I don't know. I might do one. I might not. We'll see. It'd be nice to get some videos done while I'm over there. I just hope that... Because I would have to upload it, obviously, from there. And I don't know what the charges would be like from hotels or anything or, or that kind of stuff. So, eh, it's it's to be seen. We'll see. I don't know. I might not upload anything for two weeks or I might be able to if the situation is right and all that. But it's definitely to be determined, uh, to be announced, to be advised, TBA, etc., etc. Um, yeah, but now I'm just saying final touches on the outside. I'm doing the ceilings as well, because I forgot to do ceilings, so I was like going around doing them all, making them what they should be, um, doing the ceilings inside. The ceilings inside, I didn't change that much, it's just kind of a slightly different white colour, it's a bit, I don't know, a bit different, I suppose. There's no, it, it didn't really change that much, but it was enough that I thought I should change it. Um, oh, getting in the basement was really hard to do, I think I did that later, possibly. Uh, the garden as well is really simple in this house, it's not, it's not overly cramped with flowers and, and bushes and all that kind of stuff just in that sort of defined area you see there is where I put flowers and pretty much the rest of the garden is just nice looking terrain paints and that kind of stuff I do put in a, like three or four trees around the house and I do a trampoline out the back if you have ambitions as well there you go there it is I thought that was a really nice family family home kind of thing that you would have um which is good yeah so I put those few trees around the house I try to make them not too big uh, except for that one out the front, just so it doesn't block the house. Because nothing worse than having a million trees that completely block your view of the house while you're trying to play. It just, it just gets in the way and just end up deleting them straight away. Um, but we're coming to the end, finally. Oh, I was so happy when I got this done because <laughs> because it took me like the, the two times to do it. I had to do it twice over. It was a nightmare, but I got it done eventually. Uh, yeah, so you had that nice outdoor table as well. I added the last minute. It was eight seats as well, so that's all good. I only added one car. There's another spot there, though, so that's all good. Anyways, here we are with the wonderful pictures of the place. Oh, I'm not going to sell it that highly. The nice pictures of the house that, that complemented in a certain stylings. Um, yeah, so it just kind of shows you around the house all the different features and niceties. I really like the split levels in this house as well. Um... I think it really, really helped the house. I think without the split levels in this house, it would have just been a house. But I definitely out the back in the decking area where it, you have that, 
you walk out and then you go downstairs to the pool area and then you go downstairs again to the sort of barbecue area in the backyard. I think that's a really nice feature. And then as well on the inside of the house where the entrance is lower and then you go up on the inside to the main living area and then down into the dining area. I think that's really cool. And especially, I, I really like the stairs to the basement as well, how they're in two parts. Um, and they have the t sort of two-tiered staircase there. I think that's really cool. I love playing with levels and split levels and houses and all that kind of stuff. And I definitely think it complemented this house really well. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for this time, guys. This is a very long speed build, 30 minutes, uh, just over. Um, but I think it was it was worth it. And if you stuck around, congratulations. If you skipped to the end, congratulations. You saw the end of it too. Uh, I'm Flabaliki. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.